been a lawyer for 15 years. I primarily do class actions in employment law. Um, so I've, I've spent pretty much the basic my entire career dealing with large corporations, regulations that are outdated, um, written 100 years ago, and trying to be applied to new situations, um, and all the fun that kind of entails. So it, it's it's not unusual for me to like look at opinion letters or, or look at, at regulatory bodies that are either writing straight up regulations or, or what we call in America underground regulations that are, you know, not quite the force of law, but still courts follow them and, and applying it just constantly to new situations because the employment laws in California, they're all drafted, you know, the 1920s, 1916, 1920. And we're trying to apply them to a modern economy, and it's a nightmare um, because it just the, the legal system just is not anywhere close to caught up to where the actual realities of employment are. Um, and so you're just trying to thread the needle constantly of being in the the acceptable, you know, not quite gray area, and you know you're not going to get in trouble area. So that's it. That's kind of what I do. Really excited about the project. I really liked the meeting yesterday. I thought it was. Awesome. It was under an hour. That's phenomenal. Uh, and so, yeah, hopefully I can contribute anything and, uh, you know, looking forward to learning more. All right. Now that we seems that we are all here, let's go a quick round here. Just uh, thoughts for the weekend for everyone. Griff, what, what are yours? Well, I have a bike ride with like a bunch of kids every weekend. All right. <laughs> yeah, I made it last weekend too. I didn't think I was going to, but I was able to. Uh, I was able to make it work, so that was great. Uh, and and then besides that, that was. I'm going to sell some crypto to some random people in Ecuador. That's cool. Mm -hmm. I need the cash just through local bitcoins or something like that. Face friends, face. friends. You know, friends I'm a, I'm a relatively like extroverted person i don't know if you know this about me uh so like <laughs> people know i'm like the crypto guy and it's bull market <laughs> uh, you're gonna have to wear a, a crypto suit sooner or sooner here <laughs> i mean i don't think there's a day of, there there's probably like maybe uh one day a month i'm not wearing a crypto shirt so uh, <laughs> all right fun. good um but yeah uh yeah and other than that it's really good. What about you, son? But if it, 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 it changes the weather, which is shitty right now, I'm going to get on the bike. Uh, a long run, I want to do a long run. I haven't been out for a long run for quite a while now. And on top of that, I have to have some friend with traditional work that he's diving and going to do the help. So that's about what I'm going to do during the weekend. And of course, keep an eye on the market, which is always there. <laughs> So, <laughs> so that's my job for the week. What about you, Juan Carlos? Well, I, I am moving um, this, like this, and next week I am moving. From March, I will uh, uh, start living in a new apartment. So I will be like, uh, yeah, packing a lot of stuff and move, yeah, moving my my things to the new apartment, which was the apartment where where my brother lives, and he now moved to, a, to, a, to another apartment. So I I go here. It's a, a really nice nice place. And uh, what about you, Ivy? Um, I, I'm, I will be packing some things also tomorrow because um, on Sunday I'm going to a dive camp and I'll be staying there for a week and working from there also. <laughs> so yeah, so that's going to be, I have, I will go there on Sunday and we'll be, yeah, it's going to be for, uh, and stay there until the next Sunday. So yeah, <laughs> really? I'm really, really? excited. <laughs> Yeah. And um, you, uh, Sean? Zep, your turn. Yeah, thank you. 
Uh, yeah, that, that sounds exciting, Ivy. That's that was really nice. Uh, for me, uh, I'll be uh, Santi just introduced me to some NFT card games. That yeah, I want to check them out and that's some fun. And um, yeah, I also would like to talk with them about the accountability. We're talking with Libby because Sam always has great ideas. So yeah, maybe talk with him about that. That can be a huge uh, input. Uh, and other than that, yeah, rest a bit, do sport. I, I kind of follow the same habits every week. So <laughs> yeah, and I'll pass it back to you, Santi. Thank you. OK, just to uh, give you an update, I was having a private call with uh, Marina. She approached me uh, in the middle of the week. She was apologizing for not uh, hanging around lately. She's been kind of busy, but she she sort of s s somehow uh, didn't want to sound like uh, she's negative. She said that sometimes on the meeting she was, you know, somehow keeping a, a vision, a more negative vision, and it's not like she, da she, she, she doesn't want to uh, feel that she's negative on the project. She says that we are doing things much better than many other, but uh, but I said, look, any feedback that you give us is great. If you want to keep joining and uh, you know bringing uh, your knowledge uh, asynchronously, great, and we'll be here. Uh, so whenever you want to join back, uh, you know we meet on Fridays and you can come back. But it was great listening to her again. And for today, uh, I have two goals basically: try to go over the notes that. Uh, that uh, Sean uh, posted on the uh, Hatch document, so we can we can you know try to get his in insights. There are some notes I think from Ricardo too, who's not joining today, but he was working on that, and I also think the uh, attendance document, both of them. So hopefully we can get those those documents pretty much done after today. So I'm gonna try to just share my screen so you get to see them. We can start with the. Um, with the uh, the terms one. Okay, let me go to the very top. Okay, so you, you, do you see my screen, guys? Hello, you see my screen? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we see it. So, Sean, do yeah. you? Do you wanna do you wanna go over the notes that you posted here and yeah, just so we can get them the intention behind them and we just get them into the document? Yeah. So um, you know there was nothing too major in these early pages. I thought, uh, uh, kind of echoing what Griff said earlier at the end of uh, this first section. I don't know if you want to call it paragraphs or sections. Um, that, however, this will be ultimately decided by the token holders of the DAO. Um, and, and probably something that I, I think it could be clear how the DAO is going. I think there's a bit of a, a built in assumption that people are going to see uh, that a DAO is ultimately created and hashed from this and intuitively kind of understand that it's a, a decentralized organization making decisions based on the community. But I don't know if someone that is kind of coming to this for the first time is going to get that. Um, and so instead of saying, well, maybe we should just add a whole section describing a DAO because maybe that's not a great idea. The word ultimately, I think, creates at least some understanding that the, the community of the DAO will be be the one making those decisions in the end, ultimately. OK, great. So we'll just change that. And by by uh, on the tech DAO, what what did you what did you were thinking when you highlighted that? Um, so I think that actually is meant to because I couldn't highlight in the uh, diagram that mm -hmm. follows right below that. Uh, oh. The first box in the hash DAO diagram on the right that says initial temporary reserve, it looks like temporary is misspelled. Oh, unless it there's, is. unless there's yeah. a yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. I can see it now. It, it, it's a T instead of an R. Right, right. Uh, I'll change that. By the way, beautiful diagram, and this is a really complex thing, and I think someone even describes. DAOs in this document at some point is being very complicated. And this is really, whoever did this or did this diagram did a really good job. 
Yeah, Santi, you did this, right? Yeah, I did it with Sam, though, with yes, both of us. I, mm -hmm. I would love to. I, I can we have like a ten minute hack session to work on some of the words? Because sure. there are other words sure. that I just want to change. Uh, or you could pass me the file, and I could even just. I think it's uh, it's on. A, I used an online an online service. I will try to uh, give you the link so you can just change any wording that you want and just download it again as a JP uh, file or PN, PNG file. I don't know what it was, but uh, I will send you the links. But if you want to go over them, it's, it's, it's fine. Either, either together or async. I mean, if I have the access to the link, it's probably easier. Let me async. see. Hold on. Let me see if I can remember. I have to figure out. I have to dig into Google. I, I even forgot the name of the service. It might be online. Let me check. And we can do it after the call. I mean, if, if we have okay. Sean. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, and, we can do it after and, the call. And Sean, is it, do you go by Caesar or Cesar? <laughs> I go by Sean. You go by Sean. Okay. I do. Cool. <laughs> that sounds good. I, I, All I right. Just, so uh, we, we, what, go when ahead, people pronounce your handle, is it Caesar or Cesar? It's Caesar. Yeah. Yeah. Caesar. Okay, cool. Okay. Let's get. Keep, keep going. Uh, what was that here, Griff? We have to add the uh, percentage here whenever it's defined. Yeah, exactly. That's the idea. I left a bunch of blanks because like, we will choose the parameters as a community, but we don't have them yet. Uh, mm -hmm. But we will choose them before we deploy it, so the parameters will be known before someone has to click these terms. So we will just fill in the blanks once the economy has been designed. Your economy, your choice, you know? So, like, we have to... By the way, okay. receive looks like it's misspelled. The... Yeah, it could be. Uh, re re reserve? Or what it, no, what receive. Uh, in the... Oh, there we go, yeah. And I think the paragraph above as well. We have to go over this uh, whole document and, and change the misspelling, right? OK. Let's keep going. What about this one, Griff? Um, so I thought the phrase, you shall accept to be bound, is probably a little awkward so i think you must accept these okay. terms or you must accept to be bound by these terms but i i, I think that's a, a just a better word perfect and this is highlighted because this is what is going to the code of conduct riff i cannot sorry, see yeah. you guys sorry yeah, yeah. okay Keep having trouble finding the mute button here. Um, yeah, it's the these sets of rules above and the rules that the code of, that we add in the code of conduct because like there's going to be lots of stuff people aren't going to read. Uh, so you know, but uh, at least it'll be there. Like we're we're spending a lot of we're putting in a lot of effort to really nail down the agreements. You know, the legal working group. Yeah, we're getting legal advice and all this stuff, but honestly, the real legal working group is is softgov. I mean, like you know, all the agreements that we're making as a community and setting the rules and and how we expect people to behave in the code of conduct, basically, uh, that's part of this. It's just not in this Google Doc, but it's all, right. all the social stuff. Okay, okay, let's keep moving. Here we go. This other one, Sean. Just yeah, remove so, it. Yeah, I think I think there's no need to describe it as a bit. Com it just is complicated. Okay. Don't run from it. Okay. All right. Let's keep coming. Keep going. And the extra space at the end of paragraph three. So on TV, scroll up just a little bit to the previous page. It looks like there's an extra space in the penultimate line there no um, no 
it was, no, it was it clicking up as an error. Yeah, maybe that's it. Okay. Here, point number four. So a we, capital we, I don't think is previously defined. So I don't know what, I mean, I know what we mean. And find but... the technical details. Oh, I think we would define, Griff, didn't we define we at the very beginning of the document? It's not there. Looks like it, if we did, it got deleted. I assume that, and the TEC hash DAO is we, right? I think it was in the original document that we used as the baseline, but we might have deleted. Yeah, uh, nice catch, nice catch, Sean. Because like, yeah, I, I, I'll just say the TEC hash DAO is we and uh, Defined it in the first paragraph. So how you want to handle this? Should I just? Uh, I think it's fine now. It's fine now. You you add this paragraph at the at the top of the document, defining that the tech hides out is weak. You can you could probably do it in that second paragraph on the first page, where or, or even the first paragraph when you first mention TEC hatched out. Yeah, I just I just added that in. Okay. On the very first paragraph. Right there. First, okay. There we yeah. go. It's okay. You and we. The royal we. What's with the capital royal. stuff, man? Is that no that's pretty normal, huh? Yeah, that's legal uh, stuff. Yeah. Ugh. It's it's just it's a it's a defined term. I, I don't I don't know if it's common in Europe, but I, I know here it's it's every contract you try to minimize, especially long phrases with capitalized proper nouns, and I, I think it makes a mess most of the time. We and you is good, but lots of times it's used in really weird ways. Okay, so now it's defined, and now. So should we just leave the here? Is, is, is it correct now, Sean? Yeah, I, I don't think I highlighted here. I don't think that was me. I might have, it might have been, uh, it might have been you, Griff, right? Just get rid of that. I, I think it represents... Oh, I think I... it's me, yeah, because um, when I um, cleaned up the document, so in the where we um, patterned this from, um, it should be linked to, uh, there should be linked uh, from there to the, uh, to, to the technical details. That's why I highlighted them, because oh. it should be linked. So, okay, so this should be linked. And I, I think actually we can that because I, I mean, this was a question on if we should have the technical details in this document or if we want to pull them out and have them, you know, as part of the specification, um, have them live in a different place and have these legal terms referenced. So either we pull out this first part um, all the and, and, and even your diagram, like this TNC hash down mechanism, that whole section, uh -huh. uh, and really even the second section, we could just pull that out and put it in the hash down spec, or uh, and then reference it, or we just say in the section of that. What do you think, uh, um, John? But generally speaking, you can get
No, but we won't. I want people to think what this going on. I'm scaring them up. I think the diet is bad. Even if it's more important. Just in terms of trying to understand what it means. That diet is probably more than it is. Yeah, but it's Okay, so sh should we just forget about the hyperlink and just say, I mean, you yeah, know, we can just reference the sections uh, to see that's not good. Do you want to add that? Yeah. Are you, are you? Uh, I'll just you that you highlighted here briefly. It's about that capitalization. So I think you just put it. It's like, what the fuck? Why is you capitalized? Okay, fuck. You go blah blah. And rewards. The rewards here was mentioned yeah. by you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is the first time I've seen reward and I, I just wanted to make sure if what we're being talked about here is meant to talk about the potential increase in value of the token, or if there is some other reward that is conceptualized through potential projects that might exist, where you're talking about a project after the value created that has some other reward mechanism that's different from the token. Um, and so it wasn't clear because it's the first time I think the word will be word it goes up in the back. And so I, I just wanted to make sure if it was talking about the PVP token or if it was talking about the PVP token. It, it was, so this is from, I think this is an artifact of what we, where we took these terms from, uh, where there are a little bit more clear rewards. But yeah, there is this like ambiguous like, hey, it's a guy, we don't know what we're going to do, but it is going to be returnable. And, and you might, you know, it is, this design is supposed, our goal is to make it, to end the collective psychosis around this idea that you can do social good and not make, and, and you're not supposed to make money by it, doing it. Right. Uh, so like, there may be, uh, in rewards is a shitty word, like, I don't know, we want to be general because there might be, like, maybe someone sells, maybe there's the, the, a book that is, like, published because, and it was funded by the TC, and then everyone who holds TC tokens gets royalties from the book, right? Like, hey, that could happen, <laughs> but maybe we want to just be more general than rewards, and we want to say, like, Profits, or I don't want to wait use the word profit. Profit, no, I don't like profit. No, you don't want to use, and, and you really don't want to use, I, I really don't think you want to use the word profit. Um, and again, partly because I think profit confuses the potential token, which you really want to avoid that connection. But then it 
I don't think it conveys the idea that there may be separate rewards that come out of, of different projects that the DAO ultimately ends up approving of. Can I think about the sentence and, and yeah. maybe suggest something later? Sure, I just, sure. I, 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 sure. I get what you're saying, Griff, and I'm, I, I think I can, I'm not saying I can make it perfect, but I might be able to give an alternative. Yeah, and, and you know, the, the interesting thing is like, okay, we have this intention of upgrading to a bonding curve. I don't right. want to, I don't want to hide that, but when people join, they lose money right. in the, the first step, right? You join and then you get diluted by impact hours, people, and you, you uh, lose power to redeem a percentage of your funds on top of that. Right. So, right. so you join, you lose money, but the goal is to create a regenerative system that advances the field of token engineering. So you lose money, but maybe we can as an organization, you know, be rewarded for our labor at the same time or for our Well, and I, and I think that's, I think hearing you explain that, I think, and I get that reward is an artifact from a previous document, but I, I think it makes sense why the word appears. It's just how do we communicate it to people so that they have a fair understanding of what happens, right? Because... I get, I get exactly what you're saying. Like it's, it's patently clear that once you kind of go into the system, like once the DAO is hatched, there is any, even leaving the, the ecosystem, right? There's, there's even a tax to leave, right? Like right. a 5% tax on leaving. Right. So I, I, I totally get kind of trying to be upfront with the potential participants about what's going to happen. And then conversely though, you want to kind of say, but there could be rewards too. We don't know. We just, we just don't. Like we don't exactly understand. So let me think about that sentence, and I'll, I'll see if I can suggest something. I have a crazy idea. I don't know if that's great, but instead of calling reward, what do you you calling something like honor or a trophy? Maybe, yeah, maybe it's not right, right? right. But yeah, just like oh, you like my exactly something like that. Sean, Sean, why don't we instead of saying you may earn, we change it by the the DAO may earn. I, I, I think that's one way of, of doing it. We're like e either using the, the phrasing the DAO or the community may fund mm -hmm. projects that have separate. And again, I just don't have the, the synonym for rewards in my head yet. Mm -hmm. um, benefits might be a nice word. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, because it, it still has that positive connotation without or that specific. may that may increase the funds or we don't want to use the term funds either i, I don't know and this is the shrugging emoji me doing the shrugging okay. emoji. i'm not i'm not exactly sure and, and part of that is because i have the you know concern of ever talking about profit in the right market. right right uh, yeah we do too mm -hmm. um, and so when we talk about it this way where we say hey look things that happen in the community may have their own separate benefits separate from what you know happens with the tech token may may be sufficient in itself at the beginning um, the okay. real uh, like that the real intention of this sentence is to say this dao's focus is advancing the field of token engineering a side benefit might be financial rewards, but if you're joining us so that you can make a bunch of money, then you're not welcome here. That's not the right. goal. The goal is right. to create a regenerative like system that will advance this specific social good. And in this, you know, when we're doing this stuff, like um, another perspective that I, I want to make sure that you have, we're, our goal is to really double down on making this. Uh, detail uh, work really well for the token engineering commons, but then making it so that it can be copy paste and applied to other social good efforts that like, you know, maybe are a little bit more obvious social good efforts, like helping orphans or something like that. Maybe. Sure. You know, no, so I, I, I completely get that. And, and I'm so, I'm so relatively, I, I, like the concept of tragedy of the commons, and, and, you know, the use of bonding curves to kind of make sense of, of 
um, having price of tokens go up in the beginning when it's worthwhile, but then kind of winding it down as the project comes to an end. That all makes a lot of intuitive sense. Putting them both together for me is still a relatively new concept. Um, and so I'm, I'm still trying to wrap my head around that grip. So I'm, I'm trying to not, you know, inadvertently introduce the wrong idea into it. So I'm trying to be a little careful with, with my wording. And, but I get that. I think I, I think I understand what's, what's trying to be said here, which is, hey, look, this tech token could theoretically go up in value, which is good for you, which is, but that's not the purpose here. Not only is it not the purpose, if that's your sole purpose for being here, that doesn't really jive with what we hope the community becomes. Conversely, because the DAO is going to be autonomous in the future, though, that may be what it becomes, right? Because you can't control that. And so I get, I get the intention of kind of saying, this is what we want to create. This is what we'd like to see happen. But there's also the realization that the community is going to kind of decide what happens, right? Yeah. And unsurprisingly, I, I, profit's going to be a strong motivation for a number of people. Oh, so yeah. I think it's good, that's, that's you know, that, that you kind of lay this out. I think it's important that you lay this out in terms of saying this is what, what we think should happen. Um, but in a way that I think still trying to, does honor to the idea of, but you can't control it. Um, so I, I, I think that paragraph does, I, I understood that coming out of that paragraph, but just rewards was just a, a unique word. I just didn't understand exactly how it was playing into the, uh, into this, this situation. Okay. All right. Juan Carlos, what was your comment here? Common pool resources. Uh, yes. That, that there was like a blank space that it said like other important and black blank space and i thought of common pool resources because i think this is uh uh like some within the scope of, of the, the the standardization of the processes that that we are uh trying to to help on on, on finding sustainable business models and to take care of them. So yeah, I, I thought of common pool resources was a good idea. Okay. All right. Okay. Perfect. Uh, let's keep going here. Local law. Is that is that yeah, fine? Uh, okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. Let's keep going. Progress here mis was misspelled or you just switch no, it? No, so I, I just think the phrase in constant progress. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think progress conveys the right idea. I think flux okay. probably does. And the privacy policy. Uh, that, I did not like that. That's grief, right? That's you, grief. Oh, it's, it's you. It's you. Okay. And that was the privacy policy, which, which will be where will be the privacy policy at? In the code of conduct? No. I think it's. Um, we still have. I think uh, what I've seen, because I created a privacy policy for my previous client, but it's not within the blockchain industry. They put this in the uh, website. So when you go to the website and then there is the privacy policy um, section, so I think that's what it's referring to. So is it, you think it's fine to leave it to, to, to add that there, Sean? Yeah, so you know, this is one of those times where uh, I, I think it makes sense to say hey, there's a hyperlink to it because I don't think it, it's important but not necessary for the understanding of this particular document. So I'm, I'm fine with that. This, this is a challenging one, you know. I, I think that it's mostly going to be figured out by uh, 
have lots of little pieces like uh, our like terms and conditions and GitHub and these sorts of things. But um, I, I don't know. I, I kind of feel like we should just skip the topic of the IP. Mm -hmm. I mean, our, we, the, there's this challenge in crypto where it's like, okay, who, let's say, we don't want to own, like, we want anyone to be able to use what we're working on, right? As long as someone doesn't impersonate our website and say, yeah, I invest in the token engineering, something stupid like that, you know? And then the money just goes to some hacker and, you know, and it's like, oh, oh shit, you know, like, how do we stop them from doing it? What happens yeah, fakes, fakes our website? Which happens in many and many projects. There's a bunch of people how, impersonating. Yeah. Right, how do you think open source, but still not encouraging other people, third parties to defraud your, your community? Uh, yeah, and I've had to deal with this in other organizations and it really is it's dirty. Like, Giveth didn't have a legal entity and it still like, kind of does now, but uh, we, to protect this, we made a trademark on, uh, on the legal entity, or on the name Giveth. Yeah. So we have a trademark in Europe and I think the States as well. Um, but it's like, Oh, who made that trademark? Jordan? Uh, like, it's not like, it's not, like uh, it's not really a thing, so. And then can you gift a trademark to a DAO? I don't think there's an answer to that. Usually what you do with the DAO stuff is the DAO doesn't do it. The DAO is just a funding board, you know? It just collects money and dishes money. You can't manage anything the DAO's DAOs can't manage this. So, but they have service providers, right? And then we have this service provider is like the name of the DAO. Or you have a foundation that interacts with people that are part of the DAO. Yeah, exactly. So I was thinking we just remove it from this terms. Like, we don't have a clear. This is again another like holdover from the previous one. And it would be like I want to say unauthorized reproduction is prohibited. I want to say that really bad. You shall not modify any of this shit. But like, you know how, you how are they owned? <laughs> yeah, how, and how are they owned by the you know, like, Griff, Griff, is it, is it correct to say that you kind of want a sushi swap is a okay, but uniswap dot net is not okay. Exactly. And then how do we, and, and then in practice, how do we issue takedown notices? And, and the only, the only way I know of is by holding a trade. But, but then we can't hold the trademark really before we launch the DAO. I mean, like, you know, so, uh, I don't know, this is an uh, open-ended question. Maybe we leave it in and just pretend that it's there. Could, could, we, use the, could we use the Swiss Association for that? No, the common stack is not going to that. We need to make sure that there's very clear values. Okay. Because the foundation, the common stack, the foundation only allows to, like, Dish out some money, right? And I thought that like whatever it takes is perfect is like that's it, right? Beyond that, the world could have came up with the Tesla. Yeah, so our our basically our, our role is not to have any ownership, but it's to uh of any specific common launches or deployments, and our role is not to deploy them at all, but to build the infrastructure so that other people can do it. And that's it. That's, and so we can partner with people who are going to deploy them, right? So we're partnering with the token engineering commons, and they are deploying themselves. Happy, happy day, yay, right? But that means we're partnering with them. We can't own them. Well, I don't know. Do you want to give it some thoughts, Sean? And, and maybe we can... 
end up with a final decision next week? Yeah, this is, this is very close to like legal medicine. <laughs> But if we just leave it, even though we know that, you know, there's no way anything is going to be owned by the PC, is there any problem? That's what I want to say. I, I'd like to think about it. I don't, I don't know because it, in, in one way, kind of undermines the idea of it. Mm -hmm. I could it. Would it be a problem down the road? So, it may be. It could be a problem. I'll have that to the things that come out. Okay, let's get moving. Uh, here. I don't know why it's on the line, but I think it's fine. Okay, this last one. Is that you, Griff? The owner is off? This is Ivy, I assume. Ivy has the, the, the yellow highlight. Right? The new highlight is Ivy. Thanks for staying up so I can't. That's okay. So quite early. I can't remember highlighting them. <laughs> I don't know if it's me. Do I don't think it's me. Well, I think it's a fair highlight. Because who is the owner's of? Or contributors to like uh, I, I think we could do um, I would just say maybe or you know that Stoey teams teams matched out or TC hatched out token holders. Yeah, all the Okay. Right here, this is, this is also you, Ivy? No, it's not me. I think it was highlighted in the previous document. That's you, Sean. Yeah, so I saw an app just not really awkward. They only have a purpose. Thank you. 
but that log that there is pressure. Uh, there's pressure on, on the national level, and there's pressure at the state level to get rid of those logs. And so we're seeing that pressure on the log that you're building on this log, like that's a common brutality of logs here. California board starts to make their own way. And they're all kind of steering away from the log. Right now it's going to be disappointing to do that thing. But that's not the way to do it. Two, I don't know if this is an option, but arbitration is real possible. In a lot of contracts, and outside of arbitration, look, we need to make arbitration possible. So theoretically, we can do that in the last few years. In, U in Europe, usually, the arbitration court is the most common. Because but I know that, yeah, it's something to think about at the very least, just because in, in state court and federal court, the record is public. So, short of race constraints or something that's revealed by the court, so it's just everything that's not looking like a public interest. I like that idea of adding that in. Another thing, and I think I assume that I highlighted this, uh, like, we're in Switzerland. We're on the X-Dot. We're, we're, we're <laughs> subject to the x I court of law. Like, um, is it okay to just kind of call out a jurisdiction even if we have no legal footprint in that jurisdiction? Sometimes. Um, it, it's really complex. Lots, lots of contracts in there. There's a, a commercial dispute we want to do this right under New York law. And it says, like, commercial law dogs are so much more well than New York than they can say themselves. So that's not a new problem. Lots of areas of But it comes to a huge factor that's not really the case. Sometimes when it's a consumer protection law, there's a big pushback on no, you don't have shit. Uh, I mean, what we can add, what we could say is there, like, we sort of have our own port uh, on x called Silver right? Which is like by honey token holders. I don't think it's going to be And it's not going to be connected. Uh, but like, yeah. just a, a backstory for more background on this. Like, uh, with Aragon, who forked this uh, terms from, they had a dispute with this other group called Montar. And when the dispute was starting to get um, heated and looked like it was going to go to court, they ended up not leaving the court. Uh, Aragon took the proactive um, move to actually create a court case in Switzerland so that it would be there, right, where they have all the power and, you know, they can afford Swiss lawyers and that kind of thing. Um, and even though they probably had this exact clause, they were still wanting to take that proactive move just because of it. They could make it in the States, since I took that in the U.S. jurisdiction. Yeah, that was I would grant by right, right? 
It was beyond, yeah, it was a grant. It was almost more, it was more like a payment, right? It was like $1.6 million more than So the bottom line is, does it hurt living in there? I don't, look, I don't think it hurts in that. I don't know enough about the law and how public cases are to say, oh, that's the best. I don't think the problem is that it undermines the concept of a uh, uh, decentralized organization that you're threatening bringing lawsuits to a um, You know, that, that's the legal metaphysics that a lot of doctors call this question. But it seems, you know, seems we have... No, I, no. I think... This is also like a consequence of escalating conflict. Um, we have our our uh, project of, ma of managing uh, conflict, small conflicts within the, the, the organization, and maybe the, the conflicts that we are not capable of handling within the organization can be escalated, like uh, using this 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 clause. Or, or having, having, having arbitration, as, as you said, um, here um, we can say like, um, or we can uh, follow certain arbitration uh, procedures according to certain uh, um, jurisdiction or or. Let, let me or, think or about the spot too, because I. I we can't just say, oh, we may change our I think it's got to be filled out a little bit further than that. Uh, either a brief that process that the party can choose to confer about the on chain you know, resolution. That doesn't work if both parties will attempt to try to go arbitration. Blah, blah, blah. That I, I don't know. Let me think about it a little bit. And then I, I, I did one. It makes sense from the Netflix. Okay, alright. Great. We just made this up of the hour. I think we it was great to go over all the document and review it all with all the insights. Uh, Sean, uh, it'd be awesome to get those inputs after you take a look at them. And we can finish the uh, the uh, meeting agreement next next session next Friday. All right. Sean, thank you so much. For oh, no. Happy to help. That was awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. Thank you. Thank you all. Uh, Grieve, you wanna go? Try to take a look at that at that chart so I can or I can try to find the link and just send it. Yeah. And I'll add it. Thanks, so. okay. Perfect. Thank you all. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.